Time's ticking, so I'm jumping in. So I'm going to work on this today, carry on with it. Uh, Nick picked up one of these little door latches, so I'll put that in there for this uh, lower step drawer. And then I'm going to work on this wine rack. Better working with empty wine bottles, and the wine bottles go, they fit in there nicely, aside from the clamp, so that'll be good. My main worry with this design was because this is the front of the van, and as he's going down a bumpy hill, let's say, in the back country, there's a good chance those are going to come out. He's aware of it, he's probably going to put a little bungee cord or something like that on the inside, he says he'll figure it out, he just wants it to kind of go like that, so that's what we're doing. the uh, fancy bit of business here and that's all to secure this thing right up in there
still gotta make the doors on the front, but that's it. Because that's his charging system? Yeah. That's his charger and that's that charger, so they're always connected to his batteries. They're still fused. But this main switch is just, when you turn it off, it turns off power to the inverter and yeah. the entire DC system in the van. But it keeps the chargers always connected. And you have to have that for, in this case, because this one's solar and that one's short power. Uh, that was fun. Uh, that's one of Nick's ne next door neighbors. So he just came by to uh, borrow my wire crimper. He's sorting out something on his boat. And uh, we had a discussion about terminal fuses, which are, um those kind of fuses right there and right there that's a dual post one and that's a single post one uh he was just looking at those thinking that would probably be a better solution for what he's trying to do on his boat which it sounds like it is anyway i'm gonna carry on here with this little project anyway this is coming along real nice so i'm uh, gonna keep going with it just rush 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 just crank through it talk less just work more that's what i mean i'm gonna I'm gonna do that. while but those are in there had to notch these out for that screw um, these ones just had a bit more of a gap over them so I guess I could do the same thing and just gap them all up the top but alas Nick anyway that's fine yeah so next up is this strip along the top Whew.
Oh, what a day. This is an upgrade from the umbrella. Remember, Nick had this crappy quarter inch plywood in here, so that's it. <laughs> even with all my efforts with the shade i am just burning up in there it's so hot uh the sun feels extremely intense right now and i got a little bit of a burn and i think i'm getting a burn even in the shade because the sun is bouncing off of stuff and uh it's just it's just intense right now oh i just can't work in this i'm just like going bonkers my brain is just cooking i've been trying to cool down i've been drinking lots of water um it's just too much even looking at this right now is pretty intense so i'm gonna uh just kind of take a pause from this for the time being i'll close the gate and um just keep people from wandering in here oh man Uh, how cool is this, you guys? Uh, my friend Mary Ev is in town and she invited me out to come and do a float. This is just a great way to break up the work that I've been doing on Nick's van. So I'm gonna hop in there. I gotta have a shower first, get naked and then get in there and just chill for 90 minutes. I'm gonna hop in. I'll tell, talk about all this later. Time's ticking, so I'm jumping in. So, by the way, this place just gave me a discount, 50% off next time, so I'm coming back. <clears throat> and I'm, I was coming back here anyway, that was amazing. That was the best float I've had ever. 
Um, that was a sensory deprivation tank. Um, basically it's filled with a um, bunch of water with a whole pile of Epsom salts in it so it makes it really buoyant. Um, you pretty much lay down on your back and you float in that thing and then as you relax you don't end up touching the sides and after a while all you can really feel is your heartbeat and your breathing. Um, so anyway that was amazing um, and I'm going to come back so guys float house thank you um, we'll see you soon. <laughs> And I think I'm sleeping here tonight, actually, right in front of this place. It's, this is nice and quiet here. I'm going to sleep good. Um, Mary Ev, my friend Mary Ev's in the back. I'm going to go say goodnight to her. And uh, i got to go pee, too, so I'll do that. You know what they say? You go up to a, a monk in full meditation, and you offer him a beer, and you ask him, how does it taste? So it's beautiful to be meditating on all aspects of life, but experiencing it is also extraordinary. So I'm drinking beer. Well, this is very true. Yeah. I, I figure at least I'm committing to a year of not having alcohol. Holy shit, man. You're going to be a saint. <laughs> mostly, I'm mostly there, so. <laughs> you are a saint. You always, you always have been. Yeah. I uh, I just find it doesn't matter what it is, <clears throat> whether it's water, tea, I just drink it quickly and oh. <laughs> uh, a, a lot of it. Come on in. And so, uh, yeah. Would you be interested in this? Spear, I do the I know same you're thing. A yoga guy. Oh yeah. <clears throat> you don't you don't want that. <laughs> 